I've got a couple of half dollar boxes left over from last week since I didn't stream very much due to my health problems. That being said, hopefully one of these two boxes can get us on some silver for 2024. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping to find some silver in my half dollar hunts. We started off last week hunting a couple of boxes on my live stream and we got skunked. I've got a couple of T. Loomis boxes here, one from two weeks ago, one from last week. I'm gonna go and hunt them because I'm picking up another few boxes, of course, over the next few days, and I still have three more on my shelf. So in the event that these two are both skunks, I might add a third, but we're gonna kick it off with these two and see if we get lucky. Now, obviously, I'll be looking for things like DDOs and any varieties in the half dollars. I'll be looking for proof coins, any foreign finds, and of course, any silver that's 40% or 90%, that would be the best. We're gonna go ahead and crack open this first box and see if we have a circulated box. I've been getting some newer coins lately. And if we do have a circulated box, we'll commence with the hunt. If I can open up the box for you guys. All right. Well, that is a weird box. Take a look at this. We have Loomis rolls and NF String and Sons rolls in the same box. And honest, honestly, it looks like these bad boys are brand spanking new. What a bummer. Looks like we got some new coins. I think I'll test a couple of rolls out to see if they're all new. Um, and if they are, we'll try the next box underneath it. Give me a second and we'll confirm it. Well, after close inspection, I do have a couple of coins that are not new. Uh, just a few but because there are a few coins that are not new, I'm just gonna run through this off camera and uh, see if we have anything silvery in here. If I have any finds, I'll bring it back. Otherwise, I'll be back with a wrap up of this box and probably moving on to another box or two before the end of the hunt. Well, I'm back. I went ahead and sampled 12 different rolls and all 12 rolls had about 90%, 95% new coins, either 2021 Denver's or 2023 Philadelphia's. The 12 that I sampled were the heaviest of the 12 rolls. All of these rolls are under 225 or really under 224.8 grams. So the likelihood of there being a 40% on any of these rolls is slim to none. And I would bet that maybe one or two coins in every roll might be circulated at best. So we're gonna stop there. I'm gonna return those to another bank, get the money back for them without having to open up all the rolls. Let's try the next box. Hopefully it's not the same. It's the same bank uh, the week after or the week before, I should say. So let's see if I have another tough box. And if I do, I'll probably try one more and we'll see how this goes. All right. Can we hunt a half dollar box? Yes, we can. All right. This box is a circulated box. I do not see anything that is silvery, but man, we get to crack open some rolls. I'll be back if and when I have a find in box two of the hunt. Well, this could be exciting. Very first roll I opened up had a dark edge and I thought maybe it was just a damaged clad coin. But when I pulled it out, I put it back in for sake of showing you guys. Look at this, 1968 Denver. We have a 40 percenter in roll number one of the second box. Hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. Roll number 14 of box number two is going to give us another find, and it's going to be a proof coin, 1971 San Francisco. Not a lot of cameo on this, which is not uncommon. Anything prior to 1973, it's tougher to have the cameo on, but still a nice looking proof overall for being found in circulation. Has a lower mintage, and we have two fifths of a fill the board hunt in box number two. For those that don't know what a fill the board hunt is, and you don't follow my live streams, we're looking for an NIFC a miscellaneous find like a DDO or a variety or stickerized coins, things like that. A proof coin, a 40% silver coin, and a 90% silver coin. That's what a fill the board is. It means we've got one of all five items and we filled the board. Roll number 23 is gonna give us our third find of the box. It's our first NIFC. NIFC means not issued for circulation. I know it says the present on the mat, but technically since 2021, They've not really been NIFCs anymore, but this one will count, even though 2018, they did mint quite a few that year as well. 2018 Denver, three-fifths of a fill-the-board hunt. Roll number 26, just another 2018 Denver NIFC. Find number four of the box. 
Well, we're up to roll number 42 of this box. We do have another find. It's just another NIFC, a first year NIFC, 2002, minted in Philly. Roll number 48 is going to add another NIFC to the hunt. 2014 Denver, not really nice condition, but we'll add it to the board regardless. With only a couple of rolls left, I'll be back with a box recap unless I find something else. Well, that's going to wrap up two boxes that we've hunted so far. And since the first box wasn't really a box to hunt, I'm going to add a third box. So far through the two boxes, though, we have found silver on the ER. First, 40% silver for 2024, a proof, and four NIFCs. If we find a 90%er and any of the varieties I look for, we'd have a fill-the-board hunt. I'm going to go ahead and put this box to the side. And I guess since we're here, we'll just take the top box, Emloom 2. Let me get this box on the table. We'll crack it open. And hopefully, we've got a third box to hunt. All right, Emloom 2 on the desk. Fingers crossed. We've got a circulated box here. And not another one like box number one. Well, we do have a circulated box. That's always a good sign. There are some new roll enders as well. But definitely looks like we have a circulated box to hunt. And that means we have another chance at some silver. I'll tell you, whenever I find silver in the first roll of the box with no enders, I'm always leery that we're not going to find any more. And that was the case last box. But we did get silver. All right. I'll be back if and when I have a find in box number three of the hunt. Well, roll number 12 is going to give us our first find of the box. Just going to be another NIFC, this time from 2004, minted in Denver. Well, we finished that third box. Technically, we popped the tops of three boxes, but really only counted two boxes worth of hunt. So I'm only going to count this as a two-box hunt as far as the silver jar totals for the year is concerned. So after two boxes hunted, we ended up with five NIFCs, one proof coin, and of course, the star of the show, we found a silver coin. And judging by the condition of it and the edge, I think this was probably just missed from somebody spending some half dollars that they had in their collection. Maybe they didn't see the date or maybe they didn't know that coins minted after 1964 that are half dollars did have some silver content through 1970. Either way, their miss is my addition. And I'll be adding it to the 2024 silver jar in just a second. No sense in adding another box. We're going to go ahead and stop it here. I had fun. Hopefully you guys had fun watching this half dollar hunt. And hopefully I can get back on adding some videos for you guys to watch over the next few weeks. If you did enjoy the hunt, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. We just started the new year, but it's always good getting half dollars that are silver to start the year.